I would like to introduce you to a very simple yet amazingly effective tool. I've not only seen this positive effect in research studies, but in many patients as well as myself. This tool is called expressive writing. It basically involves pouring your heart and mind into words without worrying about spelling, punctuation, or grammar. This is good medicine, folks. So how does it work? Well, no one knows exactly. One theory is that describing your feelings with words is cathartic, releasing pent-up feelings that may be dragging you down. It may be that writing down helps you organize disorganized thoughts into more cohesive ones that give meaning to an upsetting or traumatic experience. I'm a believer that expressive writing helps you distance yourself from distressing life experiences, which in turn makes you less emotionally reactive to them. In other words, we gain a sense of control over our emotions when life throws its upsetting experiences at us. And as you know, we're all about taking back control. What are the proven benefits of expressive writing? Not surprisingly, writing about emotionally charged subjects can improve mental health, including symptoms of depression, anxiety, major depressive disorder, and even post-traumatic stress disorder among veterans. In a 2014 VA study, those who engaged in four 20-minute writing sessions about emotional topics on consecutive days had greater reduction in the severity of their post-traumatic symptoms, depression, and anxiety after two weeks than participants who wrote about neutral topics. Research has also found that expressive writing improves symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome, asthma, rheumatoid arthritis, and also helps with recovery from childhood sexual abuse and postpartum depression, including also improving the state of mind in those with Parkinson's, cancer, and many health conditions. But that's crazy, right? All of these conditions improved by a simple, risk-free tool, which only requires some discipline on my part? I mean, wow. Expressive writing can even pr promote faster wound healing. As a surgeon, I was especially intrigued by evidence of faster wound healing. There was a study of subjects in New Zealand who did expressive writing for 20 minutes a day for three consecutive days. Then two weeks later, the researchers gave them small puncture wounds on their arms. Amazingly, almost twice as many in the expressive writing group had fully healed compared with those in the group that didn't do expressive writing. The thing to remember also here is that results were worse for those who wrote facts without emotion. So we need to get the emotion flowing when we're writing. Here's what to do to harness the power of expressive writing. Number one, choose a time and place where you're unlikely to be interrupted. Try to write at the same time each day. I prefer the evening when all of the day's events have occurred. Number two, Vow to write continuously about something that's upsetting you for at least 15 minutes on four consecutive days. Number three, don't worry about spelling, grammar, or punctuation. Number four, simply pour out your deepest, most honest feelings onto paper or a computer screen. It can be related to something you're dreaming about, thinking or worrying about a lot, an issue or a memory that's affecting your life in an unhealthy way or a subject you've been avoiding for days, weeks, or years. Number five, you may find that using a third person perspective, like he or she is going through all this, may be more beneficial. And number six, the important thing to remember is that it's meant to be for your personal benefit and your eyes only. Best to destroy it by deleting it on your computer or tearing up the piece of paper you're writing on. You will sleep better, feel and think better, and have a richer social life all of which can bolster immune function and improve health. Let's start writing expressively.